grade, Elements of Art. This is your packet. I want you to go ahead and put your first and last name on here. And also please put your crew, your crew name and your table color. Your table color at the top, first and last name here. And your crew leader. All right, turn to the first page. Elements of Art. I want you to super focus down on your page. One, two, three. You should have a pencil ready. And we're going to go through our Elements of Art. First page. Circle this definition right, ne right here. Elements of Art. These are the building blocks of art. These are the building blocks of art. A work of art usually consist of a combination of these elements of art. This is the foundation of visual vocabulary. Advanced 8th grade students are required to know these. So they are, the seven elements of art are, line, shape, value, texture, color, form, and space. Turn your page to line. I want you to circle your definition. And then I want you to super focus down and read the definition with me. Super focus down on your page, one, two, three. A line is an element of art that may be two-dimensional, 2D, pencil on paper, three-dimensional, wire or rope, or implied, the edge of a shape or form. Two different types of line. Circle the definitions for organic and geometric line. Organic line, a type of line, which is free-flowing and natural. Geometric line, a type of line which is man-made, angular, and rigid. In the following spaces, write the word line according to the type of line indicated. So the first one is vertical. Show me with your arm vertical. It's straight up and down. Very good. Line, L-I-N-E, and just put it in vertically. Go ahead and write the word line vertically. Next one is horizontal. Show me with your arm horizontal. And then write the word line horizontal. Horizontal is left and right. Vertical is up and down. Next one is parallel. Show me with your arms parallel. Touchdown! Then write two words. You're going to write the word line twice here because you need to write the word line parallel to each other. So, line. And if you want to write in cursive, that's up to you. Unless it asks for a geometric one and then you want to make that not so cursive. Perpendicular. Perpendicular is when a line intersects. So, an L would be perpendicular and an X would also be perpendicular. Show me with your arms. Perpendicular. I'm going to make mine an L shape, so I'll make one line vertical and one line horizontal so that it is perpendicular. Diagonal. Show me with your arm diagonal. Write the word line diagonal. Organic. Organic. I want you to draw in the, in the air. I want you to draw an organic line. Organic is free-flowing and natural. So an organic line would be like this. So if you were flying an airplane above a river, it might look like this down below. Water is very organic. When insects eat into wood, they sometimes make these cool little organic paths. So organic, we want to make that really, really curvy. So this one definitely needs to be in cursive. So I'm going to write line and add a few little extra curves on there. L I N E. Now remember, I'm using a pen so that you can see it, but you need to be using a pencil. Line. Okay, geometric. Geometric lines are very, a straight line is geometric, a perpendicular line like this is geometric, a zigzag line with sharp corners, that's geometric. 
So we're going to make a geometric with the word line geometrically. And the way my normal handwriting is, this is a little too curvy, these three. So I really need to make sure that I make it very, very geometric, very sharp angles. So L, I, and E. Sharp angles. Sharp, sharp, sharp. Go ahead and write the word line geometrically. Dotted. Write the word dot uh, white. Blah, blah, blah. Write the word line dotted. And then the next one is dash. Now make sure these two look different. You should still be able to word, read the word line. Dash is like the lines on the on the road, the yellow lines on the road, and dotted and dots like I don't know Hansel and Gretel. Make sure it's the path of a moving point. So go ahead and do dashed and dotted. Dotted is dots. My I doesn't really look, it looks more like an L. I guess that's the way it's going to have to be. L-I-N. E. Dot, dot, dot. And then dashed. I make my L really big. And the last one, curved. So I'm going to make very curvy. The curvy one's going to be quite a bit like my organic one. Except I'm going to make it a little bit different. If you need to go outside the boxes, that's fine too. So L, I, N, E. Line with curved lines. Go ahead and finish your page online.